they say that firewood warms you three times. Once when you're chopping it, once when you're stacking it, and once again when you're burning it. And I really think that the ukulele is a lot like that. <laughs> it warms you three times. You know, once you get your fingers going and you get the blood flowing into your hands and you start to warm up that way physically. And then, you know, that blood to your brain that keeps you alive and keeps you learning and keeps you remembering and, and all of those kinds of things. And then, of course, there's the warmth in your, in your heart and in your soul when you play a familiar song, something that you love, especially when you play with friends. You know, that's, that's the ukulele warming you three times. I've always said the ukulele is like a cheap vacation. All you have to do is strum a chord and magic. You're transported to someplace warmer. And in those winter months, when it's cold outside, that's exactly what you need. But not every chord that you play has the same warmth to it. Some chords are just warmer than others. So, you know, what makes the difference? Well, six chords are typically very warm sounding. I find that G6 is one of those chords that always takes me to Hawaii in my mind. I can feel the warmth of the sun. I can taste the, the poke and feel the sand between my toes when I play G6. But even more than six chords, I find that the chords in the add nine family are especially warm. And they're easy to play. If you think of F add nine, just one finger, first finger on the first fret of the second string. What a beautiful sound that is. And C add nine, just two fingers. And what a beautiful sound that is. These are two chords that sound great on their own and they sound even better together. Just add a G7 and you've got a beautiful warm chord progression that can, uh, that can help to pass those cold winter months wherever you might be. Just remember, keep strumming. Don't stop, because as soon as you stop playing, the temperature seems to drop pretty quickly.